My name is Ann Flanagan. I'm Vice President of Public Relations with WSCCU. A gentleman named Britton Shepard wanted to use our vacant lot for his thesis project. The vacant lot across the street is our future building site in the U District. A focus of ours is becoming immersed in the neighborhoods where uh, we have members, where, where our branches are. And he described how we have this moment in time right now to pause, look at the land, curate it, dig in the dirt, invite people in to this piece of land that was going to turn into something else, but for right now was an opportunity to bring the community together to explore the secrets underneath our neighborhood. I'm a graduate student in landscape architecture at the University of Washington. What I was drawn to uh, was this glimpse into the terrain beneath the city. What we're doing here is, is just taking advantage of the opportunity of the site being open to express our curiosity and to go in and dig into the site and take it apart and see what was there and to reveal what was there and to look at it and, and make it available for other people to look at. There's all kinds of life and all kinds of findings there that are worth that curiosity. And the boardwalks going through the site have essentially made a garden out of this weed patch. When Britton came down to really explain the project, he showed this picture of an old restaurant that used to be on the site of this land. And I think it put into perspective for all of us that this land is changing. And while we are forward thinking about this great new building we're going to build, it has been something and been something and been something to this community for decades. Just one old picture. When you see a picture like that and you can see the place as it is now, it, it definitely closes a gap and, and people feel that. Sometimes I think of a city as being just this brilliant machine that is designed to efficiently channel water, energy, cars, people, and money. And then the rest of the things that also need to find expression just can't really. There aren't very often sites where people can go in and do something that, that deviates from, from those things. Um, but that's what we did. I'm in search of an experience, a connection to landscape I'm searching for that connection, and I, I just think that, that everybody is. The way the weeds are growing wherever they can, I think people are also in search of this, you know, rootedness. They've colonized the, the disturbed space, and my thought is that, you know, we can also do that. Mm -hmm. Neat. Thank you. You're welcome. By being there, our small group was a clear invitation to everybody else passing by that, that it was their chance to also step across that boundary. People really enjoyed seeing what was happening and examining and appreciating just the ordinary contents of the site. The items that we found in the soil became really interesting artifacts, especially when arrayed out on the table and, and people came in to look at, at what we had found. as I have been out here on the site in the last couple of days and people have walked by and some of them are credit union members and some of them are not, they have entered really slowed down just as the intention was and absorbed the space around them. They have been very grateful that the credit union could say yes to that kind of a project. I'm really proud of that. This project tapped into something that was wanting expression. People were drawn in and given a chance to cross a boundary and to slow down and experience something that was off limits before. They're saying, I remember that restaurant that used to be here. I used to walk by here when I was a kid. And it's bringing all these little intersections of people together in this completely unexpected way. It's like they're layering on their own pieces of the story of this land. And then the credit union's gonna build a new building and it's gonna mean something yet again, helping us realize that time continuum of our role in the neighborhood is really fantastic. Pretty soon there's going to be a new building on that same corner that people will walk by and interact with.